Good morning, students. Uh, yesterday we can uh, we had uh, we were reading patriotism in the lesson, and uh, the rest part of the lesson is evening. So we'll con uh, we'll continue that lesson. But before uh, we complete the lesson, it's very important for us to know the words meaning, as I already mentioned yesterday. So today I'm going to give you six words meaning, which are very important to learn. And uh, as I already told you that if we learn the words meaning, that help us to understand better the uh, lesson. So I'm going to give you some more words that are important. So the first word is spare. Spare meaning to stop somebody from having unpleasant experience. Number second is convince. Convince meaning to succeed in making somebody believe. Number third is satisfaction. The meaning is the feeling of pleasure on achieving something. Next one is hefty. Hefty meaning a large amount of money. Next one is admit meaning not willing to change one's mind. Next one is inaugurate meaning start something in a formal manner. And the last one is essential. The meaning is basics or important quality. Uh, students, yesterday we have seen that uh, Nanaji, Ajit and Nana, three of them, they went to a village and the name of the village was Himapet and when they reached uh, the village and then after having a breakfast, uh, Nanaji took both of the children uh, under the huge uh, people tree and then they sat on the platform and then uh, Nanaji started telling them the story that uh, and he wanted to make them understand the real meaning of patriotism and he also wanted to tell them that the meaning of patriotism is not only uh, making big sacrifices going to jail and doing uh, so many big things but by doing little things also we can uh, reflect our patriotism and that is what he wanted to make them understand so nanaji uh, and uh, three of them all of them uh, sat on the platform and nanaji started telling them the story and uh, he started the story like this um, there was a young man and uh, this is uh, he told that 10 years ago there was a young man and his name was Akas and he was studying to be a doctor and um, after working after studying um, after completing his MBPS he, uh, he worked hard and then he got the scholarship and as he got the scholarship he um, went USA to uh, have his master degree. Uh, let me tell you this that MBBS is uh, not the master degree but that is a uh, bachelor degree. So uh, as I told you that Akas he wanted to be a doctor so as he wanted to be a doctor he was studying MBBS and as he was studying MBBS so he completed his bachelor degree and then uh, he got uh, he worked hard and then he uh, won his scholarship and he went to USA to complete his master degree but <clears throat> along with him 10 of his friends they also went to America uh, for their higher studies as they went to America for their higher studies uh, only Akas was one uh, Akas was only the one who came or who returned from America after completing his master degree but 10 of uh, the friends who went with him to America to study or to have the higher education they settled there in America doing their jobs in America they settled down there but there was only one who returned back to India and he was uh, Akas but when Akas returned back to his uh, house his parents were happy, uh, unhappy but uh, I can say that they were happy but they were also unhappy at this uh, unhappy at the same time uh, they were happy because uh, Akas he had completed his master degree from a uh, foreign country so that uh, the parents were very happy but uh, especially his father was unhappy because his father wanted Akas to make America his home and he also wanted him to stay in America and earn a lot of money and finally he wanted uh, from his son Akas to invite his parents and sisters to settle down in America but Akas was admit admit I have told you the meaning of admit admit meaning is not willing to change one's mind so um, Nanaji he told about Akas that Akas returned but he was admit at the same time uh, and then Akas returned thinking that um, his country means India has spent a lot of money uh, he mentioned the amount of money that uh, India has spent for his education uh, he said that India my country has spent thousands of rupees in educating me so I have to repay the debt so 
thinking this uh, akash return back to his country um, akash thought that there there was only one way by which he can repay the debt and that was by serving the people of uh, his country or people of india in india only and then he thought that uh, india needed more moreover india needed uh, good doctors more or far better than rich countries like america um, then the children asked did um, akash come back to india so anand ji replied yes uh, child he did he returned back to india then uh, nana ji he further told the story about akash and he said that in the beginning uh, akash he worked in the government hospital in uh, in the city but a year later an epidemic let me tell you the meaning of epidemic epidemic meaning it is a infectious disease which causes death like uh, nowadays we are having the epidemic disease or pandemic disease also we can say and that is corona so corona is also a infectious disease which causes death so uh, same type of disease was um, spread nearby the city where he was living so um when akash he was continuing um, uh, his job in a government hospital so i told you that in a uh, in a year or uh, within a year we can see that uh, an epidemic broke out and when he heard about the epidemic about infectious disease which causes death when he heard about this he packed his bag and he left his city and went to the village and he did not inform at that time his parents why uh, where, why he is living or where he is living for so ajit asked to nana ji why didn't he inform his parents that he is uh, living for that particular uh, village where the uh, epidemic had broken out so nana ji replied because um, they would have stopped him silly it means if uh, akash he would have informed his parents that he is going to that village where there was epidemic uh, disease which has spread in the village so if he would have informed this to the uh, to his parents then surely he thought that his parents would have stopped him so that he did not inform his parents at the same time uh, nana ji said um, nana ji i have studied in science that um, epidemic is a disease and it causes death to anybody who comes in its realm or whoever comes in its contact so uh, she also mentioned that sometime it happens that doctors who treat to those people who are infected by this so they are also sometime affected and they also die so nana ji he said yes nana you are right because epidemic is a disease that can happen to anybody it means it can happen to doctor it can happen to anybody like nurse or some who ever comes in its contact so anyway um, nana ji wanted to continue the story so um, nana ji he continued the story and he said um, a week later means after a week akash akash's father he got a postcard the letter he got uh, from his son and his son is akash so Um, in that letter he had mentioned that he was very busy in treating the patients and the situation was very green green meaning unpleasant uh, but akash did not mention in that letter he had mentioned about uh, that why he was not able to contact his parents he mentioned those things but he did not mention actually where he was because he thought that if i mention about the place where uh, he was actually then his parents would come there and force him to return back to the city so that he did not uh, mention the place we told you that akash uh, when he was um, treating the patient in nearby the village where the epidemic or pandemic had had broken out uh, he wrote a letter to his parents mentioning that he was uh very busy in treating the patient but he did not mention about the place he did not mention the place thinking that his father uh, would try to come or he would try he will come and drag him back to the city but two years uh, two weeks later his father received a phone call saying that akash had been admitted to the uh, city hospital in very serious condition so when the parents heard about this the parents they rushed rushed means they moved or they ran quickly to the hospital to see him 
he was uh, in very bad condition or he was in very bad state and he was uh, he could barely speak means he could speak but with difficulty so when uh, akash's father went there he asked the question to akash why are you treating uh, torturing yourself as well as to us and then uh, his father when he was asking such question to his uh, son at the same time his mother started sobbing sobbing means his mother started crying so <clears throat> akash he replied to his father with difficulty father i can't help it and i can't bear to see people suffer it means if i am able to cure to the people as i am the doctor and it's my duty to cure the people so if i see the people they are suffering i cannot help it or i i cannot i stay myself back so that was the answer uh, which akash gave to his father but akash's father he uh, mentioned about a uh, few more things uh, mentioning about his friends that your friends are enjoying life in america they are living a luxurious life and earning a lot of uh, pots of money means a lot of money and they are living in a comfortable life and you you see yourself that was uh, that is what the father said you will you, uh, you see yourself that you are fight, uh, you are admitted in the hospital and you are fighting for your life that all about uh, the father mentioned and he said i can't understand what are you getting by doing this this was the uh, this is what the father said to akash and then um, father said if you don't care about yourself at least spare spare means to uh, to stop giving unpleasant thought to your parents especially to your poor mother because uh, akash's mother when she went to the hospital she saw her uh, son in very critical condition in very um, difficult condition so her mother had gone half mad worrying about his son so uh, father he further said that i don't think uh, father said that i don't understand why you are doing so so akash his son replied father i don't think i will be ever uh, able to convince you about my actions but he said uh, i am so sorry for uh, giving you uh, this type of torture or this type of uh, difficult uh, uh, keeping you in this type of um, difficult situation but uh, akash also mentioned that please father try to understand that i could not help it it means i can't watch people dying all around me and not doing anything because it was his duty as he was a doctor so after battling for a month akash he died in his mother's arm and then the entire village the complete village uh, it means the villagers the all people whether the small or uh, big whether the male or female everybody Uh, from the village they all uh, went uh, at his cremation cremation meaning cemetery place where a person is buried so uh, akash uh, the doctor he was buried in uh, the he was buried and all the uh, villagers the entire village uh, village was there and uh, all the uh, villagers in all the villagers eyes there were tear because uh, they understood they knew the uh, and respected and understood the service of akash and then in order to uh, pay homage to akash it means in order to uh, homage meaning something is said or done to so respect publicly for somebody so the villagers in order to uh, pay respect publicly to akash they launched a drive and they collected uh, donations for building a small hospital in Uh, that village and uh, in order to build the hospital they uh, they needed a large amount of money so they collected among themselves and then they approached to the local mla uh, of that area and then the uh, mla decided to give hefty amount or hefty donation it means a large amount of money uh, mla he gave large amount of money thinking that the hospital would be named after him means the hospital uh, the hospital's name would be after the mla he thought like that so that he gave a large amount of money but uh, 
uh, however the villagers they were admin they were uh, the uh, the villagers they had decided and they were not going to change their mind because uh, they were collecting the amount of money for building the hospital and they had decided that we will give the um, name of the hospital after akash so they took the money and built the hospital and called akash's parents and open uh, yeah, for the opening ceremony and akash's father he inaugurated the hospital and then uh, nana ji he took both of them ajit and nana uh, uh, he took both of their hand and then he led them to a building and the building was a few hundred meters behind the peepal tree and then they stopped in front of the blue board and then uh, nana ji said to nana nana please read what is written in the blue board so nana she read out this and it was written on the blue board akash's memorial hospital in memory of dr roy uh, who uh, saved his village uh, this village from death this was this is what was written in uh, uh, that uh, on the uh, blue board and then nana uh, looked at uh, his grandfather to his nana ji and then uh, what she saw that nana ji's or grandfather's eyes was filled with tears and uh, na nana she read out and uh, the name akash rai and she said nana ji Uh, but your son, your son name is also Rai. Was he your son? So this is what the question was asked by uh, Nana. And uh, Nana ji said, "Yes, my child, he was uh, my son, your mother's elder brother." And uh, Nana ji he said to Nana, "Being as a professor of philosophy, I always thought that I know everything about everything." This is what. nana ji he said being as the professor of philosophy i thought i always thought that i know everything about everything but my son akash he taught me the true essence of the term true meaning or true essence of the term and real meaning of the word patriotism so here uh, akash's father he thought that he knew everything but um, akash he actually made them made him or explain him uh, the real meaning of the word patriotism and the actual uh, term of the word service to uh, to his father so this is what the story is all about so finally uh, akash's father nana ji he was able to convince uh, his uh, children and give them the the real meaning of the word patriotism i what i wanted to say that nana ji he told the story about uh, about uh, his son akash and uh, he told this because he wanted to make their uh, their children or uh, to grandchildren uh, the real meaning of the word patriotism so finally he was able to convince the children that patriotism is not only about making big sacrifices and dying for the country or going jail but by our simple day to day life we can reflect or we can show our uh, respect or we can be pat uh, patriot to our country by uh, doing a simple uh, living a simple life and doing a small deeds